Many people think that once a tunnel boring machine starts advancing beneath the seabed, the tunnel is essentially finished. In reality, building an undersea tunnel is far more complex. When a TBM operates under the sea, it faces two major challenges, ground collapse and water leakage. The soil beneath the seabed is usually soft, and as the machine moves forward, the surrounding ground can loosen or crack. If not properly controlled, enormous water pressure can force seawater through these cracks and quickly turn the worksite into a dangerous environment. To address these risks, engineers have built a complete self-protection system inside the TBM. Behind the cutter head is a sealed chamber where the excavated soil is mixed with water to form a thick slurry. By precisely controlling internal pressure, the machine pushes this slurry into gaps in the surrounding ground, blocking seawater while stabilizing the soil to keep the excavation safe and steady. At the same time, the tunnel structure is built step by step. Each time the TBM advances a short distance, it stops to assemble prefabricated concrete segments along the tunnel wall. Typically, seven segments form a complete ring that fits tightly against the lining, after which grout is injected into the joints to seal all remaining gaps. Once the entire tunnel is completed, the TBM has fulfilled its role. It is not brought back to the surface as these machines can only move forward and dismantling them for recovery would be far more expensive. Engineers remove only the key internal components while the outer shell and the heavily worn cutter head are left buried underground. Although this may seem wasteful, it is actually the most economical and practical solution.